I'm gonna light the bread oven, pizza oven here at the community garden. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have this scraper from my car that has a brush on it. I'm gonna clean out any debris that's in the bottom. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna reach in here and you can see there's all sorts of mortar and stuff. And you don't want that to get on the bottom of your pizza. This is the first time this is being used this year. So you can see there's quite a bit of debris here. It comes down from the chimney and you're gonna to wanna to do this every time you light the oven. It's pretty far back. As you can see how long my extension is, that's how far back it goes. Now that I have the oven clean, I'm gonna build my fire and get it going. So I brought some serious wood. This is pretty big. If I had a ax, I would probably have cut this smaller. And then I have some kindling here to start the fire. So I'm building my fire here, which is under the flue. So I'm gonna get good draft and get this fire going. And then I'm gonna push the fire to the back once it's going. And I'm just using small pieces of wood. I got my little fire and here I brought along a couple of wax fire starters and a lighter. So it's quarter after 10 in the morning and I'm hoping that this will be hot by noon or one o'clock. So we're starting it now and we'll see what happens. Light my little bricks. And these don't have any petroleum products in it so they're not gonna make the pizza oven smell bad or anything. And there we go. We're started. Now that my fire is going fairly good, I'm going to push it into the back. I'm going to use this hoe, but you should use the rake that will be here. There will be a coal rake, a fire rake, but we don't have one. So just for uh, ex explanation purposes, I'm going to use this hoe. But please don't use the garden tools from the community garden for the oven. I'm just going to push it into the back. Now there's less air in there, so I'm going to have to um, watch this fire and keep it going. But now I want to run this fire for about an hour and a half or two hours back in there and keep adding some of the larger wood to it. You want to use hardwood, not softwood. It's 10 minutes after one and I've burned most of my wood. I just have this much left. And if we look in here, it's just a bed of coals. So we're really close to being able to cook now. We'll move these coals off to the back corner and then this is gonna be really hot and we can cook on this surface if we wanna cook something like a, a flatbed or a pizza or even a piece of meat or fish. But this is also gonna radiate heat for the next few hours. So you could also put a Dutch oven full of beans or something in here. It's very, very hot. So the fire is burned out and now I just have mostly ashes left. I'm going to push them into the back corner with the rake uh, and make sure that they're completely out. I'll come back down tomorrow or later tonight and I'll just dump those ashes uh, into a bucket and then take them and dispose of them. But I'm not going to do that now in case there's a couple of uh, live embers in there. I'm just going to push it way into the back. You can see a few sparks so there is a little bit of coal left but there's no burning. And it's been uh, four and a half hours since we lit the oven, and now we're done. 